All right, so for the, anybody in the audience who's new, By Its Cover is the show where we judge books by their cover. Why else would people spend money on cool cover art and stuff if not else to be judged? It's a good point. All the covers I'm going to show you today are from Shonen Jump. Your job is to first tell me what this series is about, just purely based off the cover. You then get to give it a name. One Fist Man. Without further <laughs> ado, let's go ahead and look at the first title. Ooh. What is even happening right now? We've oh, actually man. covered this on fan service before. Carrie, do you remember? Were you on Not the even a little bit. It? This is my personal favorite series currently in Shonen Jump. The kid looks like a little baby Melanie. Aww. Aww. She is the most precious baby angel. Are you talking about the character or me? Yes. yes. <laughs> Just as like a quality of image question or stream. What is she doing yeah, with her fingers? Can you, Cole, she's can you replicate? Like, she's doing like this. I'm trying to figure out why Toph or someone who kind of looks like Toph is in yeah. the middle there. She's I'm trying to figure out up. why I like her outfit. I just can't figure it out. <laughs> Definitely yeah. not the boob window, right? <laughs> the what? What's a boob? You I like that she's, she's a fighting boob. with like uh, big sewing needles. <laughs> or their yeah. scissors split in half. Oh, is this, this is a kill a kill spinoff. What do you think this could possibly be about? What, what, like, what do you think the relationship between these this group of people is? What do you think they're they're doing? We don't have an environment, so it's a little mm. harder. But I what do you... think they're in an assassin's guild, and they're taking on this little kid because she did something that was like, oh wow, she could grow up to be a cool assassin and kill people. I think this is a Mr. and Mrs. Smith situation, okay, mm. where it's mom and dad are assassins or similar, and that is okay. their babby. But also, maybe she's magical? The year is 2025. Phoenix writes, uh, cousin, <laughs> Phoenix wrong, uh, <laughs> has decided to take the law into his own hands. Okay. Well, hand. We don't know if he has a second hand. hand you're right. That's a good point. Uh, what's the, what's, he's helping yeah, out a mother and her daughter. Uh, and the the husband was killed, and now it's it's Phoenix Wrong's chance to to make things right. I have such a good title for yours. I'm gonna share it well, because it, because it's it's the it's the title of the actual show because I got it right. Is what you're saying? Uh, no, is Mr. Wrong is Mr. Right. Ooh, that's very that's good. A, oh. yeah. Melanie almost had it, but Chris pretty much got it verbatim. Uh, oh. This is a story of a a spy. The guy in the back is a spy. He uh has a mission to gain intel on the guy who's overseeing a peace treaty between two countries. In order to spy on him, he has to infiltrate their society and uh, his mission is to fake having a family uh, so he can so he adopts the little girl and enrolls her in the same school that the, the politician has his child. But at a certain point they realize because this society sucks and they're judgmental, it has to be like a nuclear family, like you have to have a mom in there as well. What he doesn't know is that he happens to adopt a girl who is a telepath. Of course, oh, the, the little girl is telepathic. Right. And yeah, and that's part of the adoption process is that she is like able to read Slow his mind dab. and answer the questions that he wants. And she's obsessed with spies. So she's like, yes, I want to live in a spy family. The mom is an assassin, but because- oh, We got like again, a Romeo and Juliet thing going on. Yeah. Again, since it's a sucky society, their government is afraid that because she's older and not married, that that means that she's a spy. In the 20s, they would have called you like a spinster, and now yeah. they call you a spy. <laughs> it's way cooler. He knows that he's a spy, and she knows that she's an assassin. The little girl knows that both are both. So she's uh, trying to keep the family together and kind of keep the others from finding out about each other's hidden identities. I feel like my idea could have kind of like fit its way in. It couldn't, except for the fact that Chris called it out exactly. I'm so proud of myself. I have, I still have no idea what this thing is called, so I'm like, uh, gonna yeah. go off the wall here. So let's let's go ahead and start getting into the naming. Um, I just, I want to say real quick that uh, Kaden totally called me out. She said, <laughs> "Carrie, forgetting that it's 2020 already is a very yeah. Carrie thing." Because I was trying to go for a future date, and I was like, "The year's 2020. Oh shit, we're in 2020. <laughs> Fuck." Oh, yeah. And this is Hi. this is a manga, not a light novel. This is a manga, not a light novel. Okay, cool. So it doesn't end in a question mark. Got it? Correct. Yeah, correct. <laughs> this is called uh, Second Thoughts. Ooh. Because it's like she can, she can, she knows what they're both thinking. Yeah. And they, maybe they're concerned. Yeah. Boob yeah. window. The assassination story. I was trying to think of something with Tonic the three. words like telepathically Easy. in it. Uh, I'm going to call it a magical girl assassin story. Just direct enough. Right. 
I, it may I, sound like I want a, it a manga be, title. I want it to be so on the nose. Yeah. Like One Punch Man. Yeah. One Fist Man. The actual name is uh, Spy Family. I feel like Chris probably. Yeah. I like uh, Cadence. Yeah. Cadence is better. My daughter is a telepath. My wife is an assassin. I'm a spy. And none of us going to make breakfast. That, <laughs> that would be, that's a great title. That would be the light novel title. This is definitely one of the more different experiences in manga in Shonen Jump. So I recommend everyone read it. It focuses more on like family life and like a lot of- It's not, it's not a, a boy trying to be his best and screaming a lot. Fighting for his friends, yeah. Which, uh, this next one I think falls more in line with that. And this is the okay. cover of the actual volume that this premiered. I think I know the title, but I don't remember much about what it was about. I'm gonna say Chainsaws, Carrie. I think it's about chainsaws. I know, like, I'm that guy, right? That yeah. does look like kind of like a penis hot dog, right? Yeah. It's in like, a shape. Like a penis dog. A lot, a lot of penis talk today, but yes, it does look like a... Yeah, like I, I'm not even trying to be like. I know, yeah, yeah. Like, it kind of like, looks like a dick. It's like a toaster shape, and the chainsaw is in the shape of like a piece of toast. It does, it does. That is some very bread. That's a bread blade. <laughs> a chainsaw man. He's a, an ex lumberjack, and now he's looking for blood. Whose blood? I don't know. I think All he's right. trying to get revenge for the woman that is in the reflection, or she's uh, the enemy. Uh, or 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 Melanie, if I could propose both. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> what if like, what if I, like she turned him into like, like for some reason everything he touches has chainsaws on it. Yeah, and, and he touches it, it's her penis. fault. And now it's on the he's shoulder. Like, I he's. <laughs> I'm always frustrated. It's hard whenever you guys all get really close. You give us hard. all a point. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is a story about Denji, who is a young, young depressed man who has sold several of his organs and works as a tree cutter and devil hunter to pay back his deceased father's debt to a loan shark. He has a dog who's also a devil named Pochita. Essentially, okay. I think I think he gets killed after turning the dog home from or killing the guy. A, I think the guy. The guy gets killed. The Yakuza was like, "Oh, you're not paying enough. We're gonna kill you." And he gets devil powers, the ability to. Oh uh, man, you hate to see it. The essentially he gets the. Oh nope, that's the next one. He gets. Oh. This? <laughs> yeah. Spoilers. Oh, oh shit. that's fucking cool. I, Whoa. I'm gonna give the point to Carrie Sick. because he did yes. say he was a lumberjack, and no one else yeah. said he was a lumberjack. After Denji is killed, Pochit and Pachita is severely injured. Pachita merges with Denji, causing him to become this uh, monstrosity you see in front of you. Sick. Um, okay, all right, I got it. I'm ready. <laughs> the title's All the Tropes, the manga. Yep. <laughs> uh, but yeah, because after after he kills the demon that killed him, uh, a government team of devil hunters arrives on the scene, and after discovering that the devil was already killed by Denji, one of its members of persuades Denji to become part of the government devil hunting organization. Yeah. I'm ready to give it a name. Yep. My life as a demon chainsaw man, colon, that one guy from Bleach. Colon, Ichigo, Kurosaki. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was just gonna say something simple, like uh, the devil's chainsaw. Oh, I know ooh. it's not the devil's chainsaw, but he gets the I mean, powers. The, they are, no, it is that that dog was a devil. I think that this is literally just called Chainsaw Man. Yeah, you can see the title right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Wow, didn't That's even funny. notice. But yeah, I like Melanie's no, title better. Chainsaw. <laughs> chainsaw. <laughs> chainsaw. <laughs> Y'all ready for the last one? Yeah. Y'all yeah. ready for this? Whoa. Dang. Ooh. Oh, I know that guy in the background's evil. Uh, can I direct everybody to the bottom left, please? Yep. Oh, I wanted you to find that character. <laughs> I wanted oh. you to find that so badly. I, I, you noticed that. I like the trash boy. I'm a fan of the Gengar at the bottom right with a nose. It seems like a school setting. And they're also assassins. Yeah, uh, right. I mean, yeah, it's a manga, That's so yeah. Okay, I think that the, the, the two in the front are brother and sister, and I think that they go to an assassin school. Maybe they make friends with some of the assassins that aren't as good, like Trash Can Man and Buckethead. And uh, <laughs> Discount Gengar. I think that the uh, the guy in the suit maybe works at another school. Okay. And wants to, like, recruit them. I was also thinking assassin school. I was gonna say, I don't know if the guy is a villain, but like, I wanna go back to like, demon. You think he's a demon, all right. Yeah. Do, you, do, you think all, do you think all of these people are uh, supernatural or 
mythical. There's definitely a cat boy. Yeah. And then there he is again, Buckethead. And I don't, that looks like Sharpie, not cut eye holes. So he is, that is his head. <laughs> oh, it's his head? Yeah. No, I think that is actually his head. I'm kind of on the same the same boat here, or in the same boat here with Carrie. I think that it is, I do think it's an assassination like high school. I'm kind of pondering if the, the fella in the back is either a principal or a part of like a warring group at the school. Yeah. Yeah. So like this group is like, Group A, and then his he's like the leader of Group B. In their school studies, they're trying to uh, be the best assassination group so that they can become real assassins in the real world, and they're warring for that. Or they're in a battle royale situation. Ooh, and they all sure. Anime does love battle royale. I will say, too, the, the guy in the background reminds me of the happy mask salesman from uh, Ocarina and Majora's Ooh. Mask. I also I just want to point out real quick, that's some good trigger discipline. Very good. And I appreciate that. Yeah. This is one of those situations where I think nobody was close in the right way. Except for Carrie, who got it 100% right. Uh, <laughs> this is the story of Tayo Asano, a super shy high school student. And the only person he can talk to is his childhood friend, Mitsumi Yozakura. Turns out that Mitsumi is the daughter of the ultimate spy family. Even worse, Mitsumi is being harassed by her overprotective nightmare of a brother, Kiyochi uh, Chira. Uh, I see it. Uh, what dramatic step will Tayo have to take to save Mutsumi, a spy family comedy, the mission begins. Um, so I, I made the mistake. They had two different hair color that they could yep. be related. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, also, she is related to everyone else in the background. Oh. Are you serious? And, oh. and they're not going to school to be spies. They're already well practiced spies and assassins. Oh, fuck. Uh, trigger discipline. His parents died when he was young, and he. Of course. Um, but yeah, you didn't need to say that. It's an anime and manga. Yeah. <laughs> well, essentially, it, everyone has a power except for her, but that means that she is supposed to be the next head of the family. So that means other ah, spy, spy organizations are going to be trying to target and kill her. So the overprotective brother is like, you aren't good enough to protect her. You aren't good enough to be with her. So they get engaged. The, the two oh, in the front get engaged. Oh, she does have a ring. Dang. Oh, okay. good detail. So the overprotective brother is like, we need to find a person that's political for you to marry. And she's like, I love this guy. I want to marry him. And he has, he has the wife scar. So, you know, he's been through some shit. You know, so, he's fought a giant robot. Is the story told more in, from her perspective? No. So it just It's show to jump. Third person narrator and more so from his point of view. When it starts, he thinks they're all just an innocent family. And then the brother starts trying to kill him. And you can tell that and she's he... methodical because she uses a gun oh. with like a magazine clip. He's yeah. brash because he uses a revolver. Discount Gengar definitely is, is got me thinking about some other alternative thoughts here. Like hentai stuff? No, like, is it a person or is it not? Oh, oh he's huge. Oh, he's like a cat. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a big it... boy. Where's that? Oh, the Gengar is a cat. Okay, cool. That's what I was wondering if it was like a human or if it was like a, an animal. I like yeah. it a lot. Dude in the back looks like he could be Leatherface with a bucket on his head. I love the girl with pink hair. Just uh, naked. I was gonna say, she looks naked. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this is like assassination family. My big brother is an asshole. I'm gonna say this is something you said in the description. The mission begins. I'll marry who I want, Dad. All right. See, that's what I was, okay, I was gonna say, if it was in her side, oh, I was gonna okay. say, the mission begins, I choose my own fate. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. I won't change my answer, it's it's, uh, it's Romeo and Juliet 2. <laughs> <laughs> Mel the electric boogaloo. Yeah. Mel only gets the point. Hey, oh, what's uh, it called? That title is Mission Yozakura Family, but I also oh, like okay. the mission begins. Oh. Yeah, I like that. the description. Yeah, guys, it was in the description. What's wrong with you? I'm yeah. too busy looking at the, well, the character yeah. No, it's, it's good. I don't want you guys to look there. I don't want you guys to see the actual title. I just assume that it, it's just English, like, words, so that it's not necessarily the title. Mr. X yeah. <laughs> Computer wrote it said, Mr. X plus Bucket equals Mr. Bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bucket. Mr. Bucket. I'm, now. I'm Mr. Bucket. Whee! We're all gonna run to Mr. Bucket. I want to check out the first one the most. Spy yeah, Family. Yeah, it seems interesting. Spy Family. Yeah. Is, I think Spy Family is like, I think it's the best of the of the group. I would want to see this one more, but I want to watch or read the last one because I want to know more about the family. Yeah. I think the and second I, one is curious and I would watch an anime about it just because I like insane amounts of violence in my anime. All right. Well, that's, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for joining me and thanks, Chad. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Thank you all for joining me and uh, thanks for having us. Yeah, awesome. thanks, dude. This is fun. Yeah. Bye, everyone. 
Hey there, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, while you're here, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what other kind of tier list you would want to see, what other shows, games, anything anime related at all. Uh, if you want to see more great content like that, head on over to roosterteeth.com. You can become a first member. We have a ton more to see.